So, got my bottom on now, and my ears. Now, you may notice that I've done something here with this ear. So, in order to get this kind of diamond shape, I've basically just cut off like a triangular shape on the ear. If I put it down on the flat, you'll be able to see what I'm doing. So I'm basically cutting back into the ear and just taking a little triangle piece out of it from one side. And I'm ever so carefully doing that on the other side. I've got to make sure I don't make that bit there too thin because that's the bit where it might be, if it's too thin, it might be in danger of snapping. And then I can either use, I can either use my spray bottle to give it a little spray of water and smooth it, or I could dip my finger in the slit and just smooth off the cuts that I've made so that the clay is smooth and not rough at all. There you go. And then I've got little, I think, the shape of those ears, it's kind of reminding me of a little hippo. So I think, I think I'm going to do a hippo on this one. So I've got to draw the hippo's face now, more or less in proportion, onto there. So let's see how I get on. Okay, so his eyes... They're going to be about here and here, and then he's got his big nose, the bump, straight bit, another bump, and that comes around like that. All the way under, and then we're going to have a little nostril there and there, and then his mouth's in a kind of a smile that goes up at both sides, and then he's got his big teeth there that I'm going to mark on. Okay, so here is where the hole for his, for his tongue is going to go. So I've got to cut a slit there, down a bit in between his teeth to about there. Okay, so that's the bit I'll do next. Okay, so here's my hippo face drawn out. Now I'm going to use quite a sharp blade here so I think what we'll probably do is we'll get the adults in the room to help you with this. You can cut a hole with any of the tools that you've got but I'm going to get a neater finish by using this blade but if you want to use this tool we'll get an adult to do the cutting for you. So I'm going to cut along that first bit and I'm going to go down and make my second cut there and stop when I get to the edge. Then I'm going to try and make the smaller cuts at the side like that. And then I'm going to see if I can push that clay through at this point, whether it's cut enough. No, it's not. Okay. So I'm just going to go back in with the blade, make sure that that's cut all the way through there. I can feel it wanting to go. <laughs> it wants to cut. So I'm going to try pushing it with this now. There we go. So there's the rough hole. I'm going to reach in, oh well, it's a bit 
in actually. I'm going to reach in with that and tip out a bit of clay. And then I can go back in with my tools. I'm really going to wet my tool and my slip a bit. And then go in with the tool there and I'm just going to, you see how I'm just sort of smoothing that bit there and there. There's probably a bit more clay that actually wants to come out. I'm going to poke that. Get that out. Let's put it on the side for now. And then, yep, yeah, I'm just going to use that tool just to smooth those edges. Like that. Maybe give it a little spray again with the water. It seemed quite useful last time. That's it. Give that little spray. And go in again with that tool. Ooh, there's a nice flat edge there. Make sure that edge is clean. There we go. And just go in with that nice flat edge and smooth that mouth out. Brilliant. Right. Okay. So now I've got my design on sort of very lightly, haven't I? I scratched it on very lightly. I may want to now score it on a little bit more deeply. There we go. And make the lines really obvious. So I'm going to go around there. And then up and over his nostrils. Whistle like that. Get rid of some of the clay that's building up on the pen. That's it across there like that. Up and over. Get rid of a bit of the clay that's building up. And then go around to meet. Yeah, fabulous. With a few little bits. Great. And then I may want to go in and make those nostrils a bit more like a hole. So sort of poke the clay so I've got a proper nostril hole. That's quite nice. I'll quite like that. And then kind of lost the teeth and the smile a bit as well, haven't I? Let's try this too. See if I can. Get that smile back. So that goes over the top there. Over the hole. And up into a smile. And those teeth. Hmm. They're a little tricky. Let's see if I can draw them back on again. And when, once the clay has dried, and we're going to paint the clay, I'll make sure, obviously, I paint those teeth. I'm going to paint those in white, so they're really going to stand out. But for now, yay! I'd say that looks quite good. Now, I'm a bit undecided what to do about his eyes. Because uh, obviously when I paint them, they're going to be painted and they'll be really noticeable. But I could, I could try scratching them out again, outlining them, or I could maybe even score and slip a little eye onto it. I think I'm going to be happy painting these ones. I fancy doing a bit of a paint job on this hippo. But yeah, if you wanted to score and slip that area, you could stick an eye shape of clay on. Ooh, I can go wrong there. If you go a bit wrong, just make your clay a tiny bit wet. Just smooth out the bit, the mark that you didn't want to make. There we go. Right, so there's my hippo, and he's got to dry out completely and then go and be fired in the kiln and then we can paint him next week.
how do we cast it next? 